Okay, this is May the 12th, 2009. Uh, this will probably be the last video of the school year. Uh, we've gotten so close to getting it done, but yet so far away. Uh, we've just run out of school year. The next, uh, we only have about a week and a half left in the school year here. And uh, that time is going to be spent uh, reviewing and uh, uh, cleaning the shop up and that type of thing. So um, I'll just show you what we've gotten accomplished up to this point. As you can see, the radiator now is fully in place, fans in place. We got all that working. Uh, the everything has pretty much found itself a home, with the exception of the ECU. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to have to probably wrap some insulation around that, a good bit of it, and then just strap it down somewhere. If any of y'all out there may have a better suggestion, I'm open for it. I really don't like that idea. But uh, we, uh, the wires cannot be extended because uh, when you do, when you extend the wires going to your ECU, you change the resistance uh, and then uh, throwing everything else off. So uh, that's really not an option. I, I wish I could just put it somewhere totally different, but that's just where the wiring harness wound up uh, putting it at. Uh, as you can see, everything else is in place. Only other thing, oh yes, and we've got to find a home for the cruise control as well. It's right here. Uh, probably just wind up having to bolt it on top of that or something like that um, to get that to work. Uh, only other thing under the hood we really and truly like is uh, extending our AC hoses, which you probably really can't see it from here. Uh, you might can see the, the uh, one of the filler tubes for, I think, the low side there. You can't see the compressor because it's way down there on the bottom. But anyway, we've got to make some longer lines of that to go through our evaporator. I'm not our evaporating our evaporator and receiver dryer from the compressor and condenser up here. The hoses that came off the donor car just are not long enough. Um, got uh, everything situated pretty much. There's a few things underneath. There's a lot of little stuff to do still. A lot of cosmetic stuff. We've still got to tie up on it. A lot of uh, just little piddly this and that. Most of the major stuff is done. If I had a drive shaft made for it right now, we could probably put it in gear and actually move it. Um, it will crank now and start and run. Um, the steering column and gauge cluster is now in place. We just haven't made the wood trim to go around it. We've still got to make a way to hold our headlight switch up, which, by the way, you can turn this on now. Um, well, if I can get it started. Uh, and as you can see on that other car, headlights are working now. Got all exterior lights working. And what's so cool is now it's on automatic. I don't know if you, we really got time to wait for it to uh, go off, but they will automatically go off now with a timer because it's got the Crown Vic switch and all in it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to when we get this thing running and drive to a parking lot at night at the store somewhere. And uh, people tell me that I've left my lights on, and I can say, no, it's got automatic headlights, and they see this old truck. I know I'm probably going to get some confused looks there. But the um, other major thing we got done was um, we have got the 8.8 .8 rear end in place now. Um, we had to buy some pads spring pads and uh, have them our welding shop weld them and the shock mounts in place but all that's together now uh, as you can see there's still a few little lines uh, and wires hanging down we'll have to that's some of the little piddly stuff I said we're still gonna have to work on and fix but uh, anyway so she's sitting uh, about the way it should now the, the front and rear wheels look a lot more even now that we've swapped that rear end out and put that 8.8 .8. but now because of this we're going to have to have a drive shaft made so I'm going to have to find a and as you can see the lights did go off although you didn't see, to see them go off but they went off by themselves I, I'm weird that way I think just stuff like that's cool to me but uh, a lot of cosmetic stuff uh, we've got the retractable three-point seat belts in place also out of the donor car I was going to use the seat out of the donor car, the split bench, but uh, it just uh, 
was just going to be more work than we just had time for. So uh, I'll probably just have the, the original bench seat just recovered later on down the road and uh, get that done. But anyway, uh, I may make videos uh, throughout the summer. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get to work on the truck out in the, when summertime gets here. But uh, when, if I do any kind of progress this summer, I will uh, update everybody. Uh, the new school year starts for us like about the middle of August of this year. So uh, after I get the kids kind of settled in, maybe by the end of August, first part of September, uh, depending on how much I get to do to it this summer, I will uh, make updates. I do have a lot of other things here at the school I'll have to do this summer, work on, and I will also have uh, personal things at home I need to take care of as well. So uh, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to get to work on it. As you can see, it's a lot of just the wires. It still looks like a spaghetti of wires. I need to get wire ties and looms to kind of neaten that up a little bit so it'll look a little neater underneath everything. But I'm going to leave you with uh, cranking the truck up and letting you hear it. And uh, y'all have a good summer. And like I said, maybe I'll get to make a couple this summer and if I get a little progress done. And uh, we will see you later.